When mum of two, Elaine Lynch, was diagnosed with lung cancer in 2021, she had no idea she'd not just have to fight the disease, but also for the drug that could give her more time. I want to live as long as I can to make memories with my family and my children. Um, and if this drug is the, the thing that's going to give me that, then obviously that's what we need to um, get. Elaine was told a drug called Enertu is needed to target her cancer mutation known as HER2. In the UK, it's licensed for treating this type of breast cancer, but not when it develops in the lung. When she was told she could not receive the drug on the NHS, her doctor approached the pharmaceutical company to ask for it on compassionate grounds. They were told no. But the drug is available to buy, so that's what Elaine is trying to do. £9,000 every three weeks. We're fighting the cancer, which is bad enough. But then we've also got all this added stress um, about trying to find the money to pay for the treatment. It actually um, took over our life. Yeah. The, the fighting of the NHS to get this drug through the NHS has took over our lives. Elaine's children have started a GoFundMe page to try and raise money for her treatment and started a petition calling for change. In the US, it has been approved for lung cancer patients. Yeah, so I have an example of a patient who um, is in her 80s and then has been able to go on this drug um, for almost a year now. She feels very well every day. It shrank her tumors to almost undetectable. Um, it doesn't work for every patient, but for those who does, it's, it's really a fantastic treatment. Julie Woodington has the same lung cancer and has been told Inertu is the treatment she needs, but the mom of two can't afford it. You know, I'm, I'm on borrowed time now. And I've got a family, so they're driving everything I do. And um, I just want the best chance. You know, I want, if there's a drug out there that could possibly give me more time, I just, I just want to try it. The pharmaceutical company Dachi Sankyo said they don't offer this drug on compassionate grounds. A spokesman for Dachi Sankyo UK said, Our thoughts are with the patient and their family. We appreciate the significant impact this devastating condition has on the lives of individuals living with cancer, as well as their families and loved ones. We are working diligently to try to bring this medicine to as many appropriate people as possible. We are going through the appropriate regulatory channels in order to obtain a UK licence. We are unable to speculate on the timelines or outcome of our applications. However, we are committed to working closely with the regulatory authorities to support the process. I guess people that make these decisions, like the big drug companies, they're kind of so far removed from it that they sort of forget that there's people's lives they're playing with. You, you know, um, you never think it's going to happen to you, do you? Like, you kind of know it could, but you never think it is going to happen to you. And you just got to try and live live your life but it's hard it's really hard especially as you know there could be something out there that could help me and i can't get it lisa hartle gb news